Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Nick Cannon, you're letting everybody know you want to get back with your ex-wife, Mariah Carey. Y'all, listen, let me tell y'all something. Nick Cannon is out of his MFing mind. Why would Mariah, at Mariah literally was about to marry a billionaire. Mariah has Brian Wu, her backup dancer that loves her to death and can, listen, Mariah is chilling. Mariah is happy. Why would she want to take back Nick Cannon and his 5011 kids? Y'all, listen, let's get into this because, you know, let me just say this. And I got to say this. When Nick Cannon first started having 5011 kids, I was like, well, maybe he found some women that's on the same time with them. We were all led to believe that, like, um, you know, I'll just say it. We were led to believe that Nick Cannon had met women that's like, listen, I don't care about you being with me. I just want a baby. I think you'd be a great father. You support me financially with the baby. And I want a child. Thank you very much. It's easier than getting a donor. No, 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 no. Until the truth came out. And we found out Nick Cannon is a narcissist. To me, at least like psychopath and all he does is triangulate and play mind games with his own children why would mariah carey want to be a part of it mariah carey literally threatened to go to court and take away full custody from nick cannon because he wasn't seeing his twins do you know that nick cannon on purpose for like left out two or three of his kids when he was naming the ones he loved do you know that even though all his kids go to the same school they are not allowed to mingle and they have not met each other do you know that depending on which baby's mom is letting him crawl into her bed is depending on who what kids he's going to spend time with do you know that nick cannon has a rule that he can go forward and prosper but any woman that starts to get a boyfriend or not let him let him into their bed gets cut off financially. Do you know that he picked a bunch of pick me's except for one? That's the one he arguing with that literally refused to get any type of formal child support arrangement. And how does Nick support his children? The women have to ask, hey, I, this is a man you're not with. Hey, I need this. Can I have this? And then he personally approves every penny bit by bit. Do you know, even though he is a multimillionaire, these women are paying for most of the expenses? Do you know that one was actually posting about how they had postpartum depression and they just need some help, but then they have money for a night nurse or a nanny? Because Nick wouldn't give the money. And she was in people the comments about, he's not here to be a piggy bank. He's not here to support me. This is my life. He's not, like, you idiot. You don't even know what's going on. Nick Cannon is a menace. The kids are not allowed to meet each other. And they all go to the same school. He triangulates on how he gives attention. He plays favors picks and choose it to me if that's not mental abuse i don't know what it is these women all and the only woman that de la rosa i think her name is uh the 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 what's her name not dominican but the panamanian girl went and got him on child support for 40k a month as she should have and the other baby's moms are just begging for pennies now listen if y'all gonna be in my comments being like and that's the way it's supposed to be shut up shut up shut up Go pick your pennies off the ground. We're talking grown folks business. If you think a multimillionaire, you ask him for money so you can take the bus to take your kids to the playground. Anyway, right? They're saying, and Nick has, and now Nick is turning his wayward ways on Mariah Carey. Nick has 15 children. Why would Mariah Carey want to take them back? And he's probably going to make more. That's the crazy part. He's literally forming a cult. And because he got a turban on and looked like he about to read like Miss Cleo circa 1983 or whenever Miss Cleo was around, now everybody think mm. anyway, right? They're saying Nick Cannon still has a spot, soft spot for in his heart for ex-wife Mariah Carey and would jump in another chance to make their romance work. Okay, you know what? I just realized Nick said this. Everyone knows Nick wants to get back with Mariah, but she wants no part of him or his messy personal life. Um, let me just say this. Um, I see what Nick's doing. Nick did this in his talk show. Remember when Nick K 
Cannon used the death of his son for ratings. And then the mom lashed out to him and said, how dare you? And then she ended up having another kid with him. Baby, when you down bad, you down bad. And don't talk to me like, oh, that's their arrangement. That's love. I don't believe in that. There are plenty of grown people in cults being abused, this and that. Just because you're grown don't mean you have sense. And just because a grown person's like, oh, thank you. You can punch me in my face again, again, and again. Does not mean I'm going to sit there and let somebody do it because that's what they said. No. Sometimes, listen. Sometimes you got to look out and listen. Sometimes. Anyway, but you know, I just realized Nick don't want to get back with Mariah. He's just talking trash. You know what Nick's doing? Nick 100% is using Mariah for clickbait. Mm -hmm. He's using Mariah for to get clicks and views on that little talk show that he, that podcast he has with Brie Tessie. He said, I never thought I'd have babies with someone and then get divorced. This is what Mariah said. But life happens and it was supposed to happen. It's fine for them. I wish it hadn't happened that way. You guys listen. In the meantime, Nick has fathered 12 children with six women, including Mariah Carey. Sources said that Nick's attempts to woo Mariah have misfired. Who would want to be with the man who has all those kids with all these women? Listen, it doesn't matter that two of the children are hers. It's not happening. But not only that, if you listen to what Jessica White had to say about Nick Cannon, she painted a picture first of all nick cannon is colorist right and he also painted she painted a picture of her being desperately in love with him but also the horrible things he subjected her to the way he emotionally abused her and there's here's the thing people can say oh they just did that because he wasn't in love with her let me tell y'all something about reality this little duplicity that we think exists in people someone can be a re relentless cold-blooded killer but the best father in the world that only exists in movies somebody that is emotionally abusive in one relationship is emotionally abusive in another relationship unless they do some deep deep work on themselves does nick cannon seem like he did some deep deep work on himself does he me no think so anyway jessica said about nick I was just the first person in Hollywood to talk about it and not try to make a pretty picture out of what it was. I don't want to be perfect. She said, according to page six, Jessica recently shared a statement on Instagram at, that was potentially directed at Nick Cannon saying, I wanted it to work. Prayed every day that you'd see me and love me the way that I loved you. Maybe you did, but just kept it from me during our relationship. I walked away with more questions than anything. I don't know till this day really why current things had to happen. She said, listen, she said, I felt a lot of things, which I won't even relive. I was going through hormonal changes. We were about to start in vitro fertilization. Woo, listen, this is when she, she Jessica White found out that Nick had just welcomed another baby with Brittany Bell after she had just suffered a miscarriage. Listen, all I got to say is Nick is out of his mind. Jessica said she is not ever going back to Nick and stressed that she's so tired of talking about him. She said, listen, we know De La Rosa's not going back. We know Mariah's not going back. We need to start a GoFundMe so all those rest of those baby moms can find their way home. But then again, at the end of the day, it's not about money. They're being dumb for free. I don't know what's worse. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.